Hi there, grade 11 sprites. Let's look yet again at solving exponential equations. Okay, the one on screen is the type of exponential equation that is going to change into a quadratic equation. In other words, we say it is an exponential equation that reduces into a quadratic equation. How do I know? Well, we use something called forward thinking, right? When you forward think in maths, you look at your problem and you try to identify the components that are in the problem and then you think what is going to happen as you move along, okay? Now, how did we identify that this is going to change into a quadratic? Well, this 9 over here is connected to this base 3. This 9 is 3 squared, okay? So when you then change the 9 to a 3 squared because... Remember, the goal of exponential equations is to get the bases the same, right? So you are encouraged to change this 9 into a 3, okay? Because then you will have these two bases that contain your variable x that you're trying to solve for in the same base. Make sense? All right, cool. That is then going to change this equation to look like this. But be careful now, that original exponent was algebraic, right? It was the exponent, x plus 1, okay? So we need to use brackets around that exponent because what you need to do now is distribute this 2 to both the terms, right, that are involved in that original exponent. All right, so there we go. We now have the equation 3 to the exponent 2x plus 2 minus 10 times 3 to the exponent of x plus 1, okay? We can already recognize this as the quadratic version of this exponential form, okay? So what do we learn? We learn that a method that we can use to simplify this a little bit easier, okay, is to do something called a k substitution, right? So we're going to do a k substitution. Right? or apply the K method. Okay, so to apply the K method, you then find a substitution to make. Okay, we can see a 3 to the exponent of X over here. We can also see it in there. It is currently embedded, right? In other words, it is part of this expression. It is in there. We just need to get to it, right? So we are then going to say, and please write this down in your test and exams, right there that you are going to let k equal 3 to the x, okay? Now, if you square both sides over here, okay, you are then going to get k squared is equal to 3 to the 2x, okay? Now, these are the two k substitutions we have to work with. Let's go back to our original equation and break apart this first term. Okay, when we break this apart, we mean that we apply the exponential law, right, which talks about multiplying the same base and adding the exponents, we apply it in reverse. Okay, so we're going to break that first term into 3 to the exponent 2x times 3 squared. Then we have minus 10 times 3 to the exponent of x plus 1 is equals to 0. Okay, now we then need to substitute for our k. We're saying that this 3 to the x must become k and the 3 to the exponent 2x must become k squared, right? So wherever we see this term, we must write k squared, okay? So there it is. We substitute it with k squared. We still have 3 squared. Then we have minus 10. The 3 to the x, what did we say we're going to substitute it with? Well, we said we're going to let it be k, right? So when we see that, we just times it by k. Then we have a plus 1. This must equal 0, okay? I just want to fix something over here. Usually when we're multiplying a variable by a number, that number will become a coefficient. This number is currently 3 squared, which is 9. So let's push it to the front or write it first. So we have 9k squared. Much better. Okay, so there is the quadratic now that we need to factorize. Okay, 
Now, factorization is sort of another component that you need to practice if you are not that good at it, okay? Something that helps a lot is to check this last term of your quadratic, okay? If it is a prime number, right, or something like 1, notice 1 is not a prime number. I'm not saying that 1 is a prime number. If it is a prime number or something like 1, okay, it is quite easy to factorize because the only way you can multiply to get to 1 is to use 1 and 1, okay? So we're going to open two brackets. And we already know that these numbers here have to be 1 and 1 because we know that 1 times 1 is 1. That is the only way we can get to 1, okay? So now we need to play around, okay, with the factors of 9k squared to get to negative k as a middle, sorry, negative 10k as a middle term, okay? We can put the k's in because we know that the k times the k will be the k squared. Now think to yourself, how can you get to negative 10? Mm. Well, negative 9 plus a negative 1 is a negative 10. That's going to work, okay? How are we going to get this negative 9? Well, you need to be a little bit clever about it. I can put this negative 9 into one of these brackets. Sorry, the 9 into one of the brackets, okay? So if I put 9 into one of the brackets, if I check quickly, I'm going to have 9 times 1 is 9, and k times k is k squared. Okay, the problem is I want this 9k to be negative. Okay, so check what's going to happen. I know when I FOIL, I'm going to have to multiply that by this eventually. It is initially multiplied by this to get that term. But eventually, I'm going to say 9k times the 1. But if I want it to be negative, then it has to be 9k times negative 1. You see? Okay, so we now have the negative 9k. We just need another negative k to get us to that negative 10k. We can then put a negative in front of this 1 because the negative 1 times k is our negative 1k. Right? Last thing to check, negative 1 times negative 1 is the positive 1. Okay, not all quadratics are going to factorize like this. Many quadratics factorize differently. You just need to play around with it until you get the factors in the right order. Make sure you check that when you move backwards by foiling, you still get that original quadratic, okay? All right, so now we have that therefore the bracket 9k minus 1 must equal 0 or the bracket k minus 1 must equal 0. Okay. Now notice, these are solutions for k. Right? We want solutions for x. Okay. I did not write the instruction over here. But the original instruction was to solve for x, right? Not to solve for k. Okay, so we then need to do what? We need to resubstitute. So we need to go back to the step where we said let k equal 3 to the x. And now resubstitute the k, right? So there it is. It's going to have a 9 next to it. And then we need to resubstitute this k with 3 to the x. We do the same thing on the other side, 3 to the x minus 1 is equals to 0. Okay, let's start this side, it's quite easy to solve. We now have 3 to the x is equals to 1. We can write 1 with a base 3 as 3 to the exponent of 0. Okay, so then therefore x is equals to 0 is one of our solutions. Well, one of our potential solutions, we still need to check. Okay. On this side, there is a lot happening around this 3 to the x that we're trying to solve for. So you then do inverse operations to get to it, right? So to isolate it. The first thing you're going to do is that you're going to, the first thing you're going to do is that you're going to add 1 to both sides, right? You're going to have 
9 times 3 to the x is equals to 1. Then you're going to divide both sides by 9. Okay, so you're going to have 3 to the x is equals to 1 over 9. Okay, this 1 over 9 can be written as a base 3, as 3 to the negative 2. Okay, so final answer, x is equals to negative 2. Okay, now we need to check. All right, so I have our original equation typed into the calculator. Okay, so now in the place of these input brackets, right, we need to check our two solutions. The first solution we had was negative 2, so we need to go everywhere where there's an x and substitute negative 2. Okay, press equal. Cool, we get a 0. That is the right-hand side of this equation, so we are happy. Let's go and check the other solution. The other solution was x is equal to 0. Mm. Just be careful not to remove your brackets. Okay, there we go. Ah, we still get zero. Fantastic. The right hand side is equal to the left hand side. Both of our solutions. Okay. X is equal to negative two and X is equal to zero are valid solutions. We are happy. It's a good day. We move on with life.